Hey guys, in this tutorial we will create a cookie-like effect in our Windows Forms application and during the course of this tutorial we will create this application if we successfully log in into our system for example if I enter the login details jsmith and password as password click login and if I restart this application again, this time you will see the J Smith, the username is automatically add into the text box. And all we need to do is now add password in here and log again. So if you want to create this kind of effect in Windows Forms application, so let's get started, create a new project select visual c sharp then windows and finally windows forms application and i will leave the default name as it is and click ok and this will create this application for us now the first thing i need to do is to change the name of this form and i will rename it to login form and when you see this message just click yes now I will add another form, add and windows form, this time I will choose or call it dashboard form, you can call it anything you like and then click add. Now first we will def uh, design this dashboard form and I will add a label control in here and then I'll set a few properties the first one is text property and all I have to do is to write this is a dash board form that's all I need to do and I will change the size of the form to 2030 and I also want to change the, the color of this text and I'll make it So it's blue now. Now close this form. We will design our login form now. And I'll set a few form properties of this form. The first one is a text property and I'll make it a login. I will make start position has center screen. And I will make maximize box property as false so which will disable this maximize button. And I will make the form border style property to fix single so that nobody resize the form at runtime. And that's all it is. Now I will add a label control and then a text box control. Just select both these for, uh, controls and change the text property size. Uh, check the text property size property to 10. Now press Control key on your keyboard and drag, and that will duplicate it for us. Now I will add two buttons in here and resize the form. and go to f select all controls go to format menu center form horizontally and now these two buttons control same thing horizontally we'll put them in the middle of this form now I will set the property of this label and set the text property to username and this one password this one login and exit the tab index properties of these controls we will start with 0 then 1 then 2 then finally 3 now I'll set the, the name properties of these controls and make it a username sorry username text box so that we can easily reference them in our code in 
same way password text box login button exit button and we will start coding with this exit button double click on it will generate click event for us and all we need to do here is application dot exit and it would exit our application when we click on this button run the application and click on exit button and it will exit the application now let's code the login button what we need to do is to first check for the username and password if they are correct then show us this dashboard form so I will hard code the values but it's not a recommended it's just for example I will do it this way so username Xbox dot text equals to admin and password text box dot text equals to password and then show us the dashboard form so we need to create an object of it dashboard form equals to new dashboard form and then show it show the dialog but what we need to do is you can use show method as well if you want but I will use show dialog in this example and before that we will hide our login form and we will write this dot hide you can't directly write login form dot hide for that you need to do this dot hide so now run the application enter the details correctly password and then click login and you can see the login form is now hidden and it's showing the dashboard form for to you now if we start this application again and enter the details incorrectly and when you click on this button nothing is happening so what we want when the details are not correct it should show us the message and clear both these text boxes and put the cursor in here so how to do that just put else in here so first show the message message box dot show login details are incorrect the title of the message error then ok button and then icon as error now clear username text box dot clear password text box dot clear and finally put the cursor into the username text box so when you use dot focus it will put the cursor back again into this username run the application into wrong details login and it's telling you login details are incorrect the title is as error the icon as error and then ok button just click on it and now you can see both the text box feeds are cleared and the cursor is in username text box now now what we need to do is when we correctly log in into our application the first thing we need to do is whatever is the value in this username text box we need to save that value using stream writer so how to use stream writer class just write st using statement with your 
stream writer class that's recommended by Microsoft you can do it in many other ways without using keyword and then we will you write stream writer and as you can see it's not there in the IntelliSense so we need to add a you namespace so using system dot io and then create an object of it stream writer as new sorry not as you equals to new stream writer and now it's asking for the path and I will enter a path in here which is a string so path will be user name dot txt uh, you can also write settings dot txt if you want if you write the value this part as this it will add it to the bin folder of our application and in here so in which case it's a correct place for this kind of data to be saved instead of writing the directory name where you want to save this will directly add to the bin folder which is the correct place to add it once you add the, the file in there then we want to save the value of username dot uh, the username of uh, username text box so all you need to do is stream writer dot write or write line in this example I will use write line and the value is coming from username text box dot text that's all you need to do if you currently go to bin folder you can't see any file with the name settings.txt but if we run the application now and add the detail correctly and click login and go to the bin folder you will see the file in here with the value admin let's now restart this application and you can see the value is not there in the username text box although we have saved it in the settings txt file as you can see and for that we need to read it using stream reader at the form load event so just generate the form load event and using keyword and then stream reader and then the object of stream reader and then it is asking for the part and the part is exactly the same as the, reader, the writer's part and now to read the value we need to write stream the object name stream reader dot write a read line that's all we need to do and we need to map it to our username text box so how to do that username text box dot text equals to stream reader dot read line so that it will read that line for us the value and put it into our username text box so now run the application and you can see the value is there and all we need to do now is to enter password and then click login now if I delete this file start the application you will see this error in here could not find file setting dot txt in this location so if the file so what we need to do it should only read the value if the file exists in there so how to do that all we need to do is to write here if the file dot exists and the path is the same
same as this one. So now what this code will do, it will only check the value for stream reader if the file exists, otherwise it will ignore it. Now if you run the application, you will see no value in here and the, at the same time no error as well, which you have seen a few moments ago. So now add the details, password as password, login, restart the application and you can see the values there. So with this I conclude this video, thanks for watching.